hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome it is Monday and that means I am showing you everything I sold on eBay over the weekend we have $1,800 going out on eBay as well as close to $200 on Poshmark and Mercari don't show you these videos to brag or say look at me I want you to know that it is possible to do this with hard work you can do anything the more you list the more you sell I've listed 53 already and it isn't even noon here and to also inform you of what exactly is selling right now on eBay so let's go ahead and get started so the first item coming up is actually going out to a viewer it is going out to andrea so andrea thank you so much for your purchase she got this really cool turvis tumbler and it has these cool almost like quilted chickens they're pretty cool roosters and andrea got this for 15.74 plus she paid six in shipping i paid three or four dollars for that at the thrift store so it's going to be about an eight dollar profit it did sell in a day watch out for turvis that actually was the only one with roosters and those can sell really fast some of them can sell really high i sold ones with fly fishing lures inside of them for over a hundred dollars so check turvis because they can be really really good sellers up next is a pair of license plates this is a pair of maryland these are from 1965 these two and they are matching pair they sold for 32 dollars plus the buyer paid 965 in shipping so I'm about $2 in and they are going to be about a $25 profit and they sold in about a month. Up next is an item for my death pile that just got listed and it actually sold pretty fast. So this is Manships USA price guide for 45 RPM records. This one I actually picked up for only $2 and it sold for $25 really, really fast. Plus the buyer paid $4.83 in shipping because it is shipping media mail. So keep your eye out for books that are price guides and anything that's specialized. I would look them up and see if they're selling. Now with the eBay app, you can actually scan the barcode on the back, which is right here. It has a search function and you can look up and find that exact book. Next is a set of Winston playing cards that actually took almost a year and a half to sell they are not in the box they are just rubber banded and these cards sold for 365 so they're a whole two dollar profit and they took forever to sell up next is a single handkerchief that sold for 15 dollars. people ask me all the time if i lock my handkerchiefs up or do I sell them individually? And the answer is I sell them individually. So this one's really pretty. It does have polka dots, red roses, really pretty scallop border. It sold for 15 plus the buyer paid $12 in shipping because it is going international. So if you're not shipping international, definitely recommend you do that because it will increase your sales. Next is some Altre shampoo and conditioner and this i got in a boxy charm box so i'm actually about five dollars in and these two sold for 25 dollars plus the buyer paid 9.65 in shipping so they're gonna be about an 18 dollar profit and they sold really really fast so the boxy charm boxes are like 25 dollars for the whole box you get five items in so you pay about five dollars each and what i do is i list the items that i am not interested in keeping up next is actually the biggest sale of the weekend and that is this carved little village it's very very detailed if you can see here 
and this one actually sold in under a week for 209.30 it is going international and the buyer paid 22 in shipping it is two piece it goes into the stand if you don't know i use instapack which is a self-conforming foam so there's a lot of really fragile work in here and with instapack it conforms to that especially going internationally like that piece is instapack is great if you're selling expensive breakables because it really protects them very well and the instapacks are available from american bubble boy which is also who i use to get all my bubble wrap from really the best price that i have found and it gets to my house in two days so i absolutely love buying from there i do have a link down in the description if you are interested in trying them out up next is three of these finger knives so they actually go on your finger to open mail i got them in a usps postal lot i paid less than a dollar the three of them sold for 10 and they sold pretty fast and they're about an eight dollar profit and then i sold this pair of cob hill shoes i picked these up for two dollars at the thrift store they sold in under a month of listing they're very nice they look pretty much brand new and this pair sold for 31.49 so they're actually about a 25 dollar profit i typically do not do a ton of shoes and clothes but if I see a good pair of shoes at the thrift store, I'm going to pick them up, especially if they're a good price. And then we have another license plate. This one is a 1968 Missouri truck. This one sold for $28. Again, sold in under a month, and it's about a $23 profit. Up next is two boxes of Octavia. I had a ton of boxes of these shakes these two i paid 40 dollars for them they sold for 55 so after fees they're about break even but i'm just getting my money back and emptying out my pantry and then we have another license plate this is a 1975 florida sunshine state this one sold for 10.48 so it's about an eight dollar profit next this one's really heavy so it's kind of crazy to see the different weights of the license plates depending on the year in the state this one here is actually a hundred years old how cool is that this one's from 1921 from new york really heavy this one sold for 4303 and it's about a 35 dollar profit this one did take a little bit longer it was one of the first ones to be listed and it sold in about two months up next is a indiana hooters plate this one sold for $13.99 in less than a month this one is about a ten dollar profit if you missed where I picked up the license plates, I bought 1,300 of them for about $1,000. So I'm less than a dollar into them and they are all currently listed. So they have been selling pretty steady and I'm very, very happy with that investment. We are already back in the profit less than two months later. And then a DVD that took a year to sell. I probably will not pick up any more DVD lots. I will not lie. Now, if I see one that I think is expensive, I will get it. This one's You've Got Mail. It sold for $5.58. It's about a $4 profit, and it took two years to sell. Next is another item that took almost two years to sell. It is this brass face. I can see you. It's this brass face. It looks like the maker had like a, a moment of lapse of judgment and they they carved into it and they cut it so this would be worth a lot of money if it weren't for those defects but instead it took about two years to sell sold for 16 i'm less than five in so it's going to be about a ten dollar profit up next is a purse that is my friend charlene I'm not sure where she got these to be honest um this one is a whiting and davis really cool flapper purse you can see the chain mail there this one since it's charlene we're just splitting the profits this one sold for 41.99 so it will be about a 30 dollar profit after fees and we will split that so i'll get 15 she'll get 15 plus i paid her two dollars to list this for me so she gets that as well and this sold in under a week all right, are you ready for a Kachina? I haven't sold one of these in forever. I also haven't bought any new ones in a while. So they typically, some will sell really fast and then it can take a while for the rest. So this one took about six months. This is a really cool 
Hopi Kachina doll. This is Eagle is the name of this one. You can see the different colored feathers there on the back. This one is not signed and this one's still sold for $104.98. I'm about $15 in. So this is about a $65 profit. And again, it took about a year to sell. And then along a burger basket, it's been about six months since I did these. This one is a bread basket. It does have the fall leaf liner. It is signed on the bottom. All Longa Burger is marked on the bottom there. This one sold for $30 plus the buyer paid $11.75 in shipping. I paid eight, so this one's about a $17 profit. And then we have a little part. This is like a kitchen faucet part. I'm pennies in, it sold for two bucks. It's about a dollar profit and it took like two years of the sell. So if you think I don't make mistakes, I make a lot of them. We all make mistakes. You just have to learn from those mistakes and keep moving on, keep pushing. One of the biggest things I think as far as my sales, because we've been averaging almost 100 to $150 more per day than normal. So we're averaging about 3,700 to 4,000 a week now versus where we were at 2,500 is I am pushing myself to list. As I said earlier, I listed 53 items before 10 o'clock this morning. I have been making myself list. So yesterday I actually spent 12 hours on an auction. I bought 70 lots. It is mostly high dollar stuff, as well as some stuff for a new business venture. Not ready to completely reveal it to you yet, but we will be adding a wholesale aspect and be offering wholesale lots to you for you to resell. So I'm picking up a lot of stuff that will be for that. I also plan on trying whatnot. Everybody keeps asking me. I'm going to try doing a whatnot probably next week, I'm thinking. So I got some stuff I thought would be good for the whatnot sale. And I will let you guys know as this progresses, I've already talked to someone as far as hiring someone to help me with the wholesale aspect. So super excited about that. And it's an extra avenue for income. And I think it's something that some of you might actually like and want to adopt because when you re wholesale, you're kind of, you're the middleman. So you're not having to deal with the end buyer and that might work better for some of you. Up next is a purse. I only paid $15 for this. This one is Donald J. Pliner. I got this at the flea market for $15. Here it is. And this one sold for $111.43, making it about an $80 profit. It is brand new. It has never been used. It still has the original stuffing in there and this was a great sale it did take about six to eight months to sell so it was a little bit longer and then this tablecloth and it has matching napkins this is batik dyed fabric as well as this one so this one here which is gorgeous with the purples this one sold for $25 and then the tablecloth and napkin set sold for 20 so the two of these together go in the same buyer for 45 Plus they paid 11 in shipping and I paid $20 for a really big box of fatigue fabric. I'm already in the profit on that. So this is gonna be about a $35 profit. All I have to take out is fees. Next is an item that I picked up for a dollar. So it goes back to the clothing. Clothing I like to pick up is team stuff. So this one is University of North Alabama Lions. This one is Russell Athletic. Picked it up for a dollar at a thrift store in Birmingham. It sold for $10.48, so it's about an $8 profit. It did take about four to six months to sell. And then we sold two more boxes of Octavia. So again, breaking even, but making my 50 bucks back. Next is another item from my most recent auction haul. You will see, I, I won 70 lots yesterday and I have got some absolutely amazing stuff coming. Some hand stitched quilts, some really cool vintage stuff, and also some stuff that I'm going to be offering wholesale. There is just some really amazing stuff that my daughter will be picking up for me later today. So this is a little Jade Geisha doll and she was in a lot i paid twenty dollars for i'm actually already in the profit she sold for 54 so she's going to be about a 45 dollar profit and she sold in under a week 
and then somebody got two tags for a total of 38 they are both vintage florida tags they're both from 1970 there is this one here as well as this one and the two sold for 38 plus the buyer paid 11 and shipping so they are going to be about a 30 dollar profit next is another item from that last auction haul this really cute cast iron bobcat this is from the 1950s it does say bobcat here on the back it this is virginia metal craft i learned by searching with google lens this one i paid about five for it sold for 20 so it's about a 12 dollars profit and it sold in under a week and then we have another license plate i love the color of these this is an apportioned florida plate this one here sold for 10.49 and under a month and it's about an eight dollar profit and then we sold some more Octavia. I'm run. I'm running out. I pro I think I have four sets left. But I'm really happy, like I said, just to get my money back and be able to clear out my pantry without having to throw stuff away. Up next is a lot of Girl Scout stuff. So it is this Girl Scout dress, an extra shirt, as well as the beanie, the sash, and the bow tie. I paid $2 for these at a garage sale about two months ago. They sold for $20.99, making them about a $13 profit. I did buy a lot of Girl Scout patches as well. I was hoping to sell with them, but I don't know where I put them. I'm, I'm sure some of you can sympathize with me. I get so much sometimes I don't know where it goes. Up next, and if you like shirts like this, I have a ton of them. They are the cold shoulder where they have the bare shoulder. They have a cute little tie on them. I have a bunch of these left. I got them in a QVC palette. This one sold for $3.64. So I am actually just breaking even, but I'm happy to have the room. And if you like those, there are more cold shoulder shirts in my eBay store, which the link is in every description of all of my videos next is a blanket i got from my good friend george the antique nomad at an estate sale he had i paid two dollars for this blanket it is got really pretty sunflowers i'll pop a picture up here so you can see the blanket actually laid out and this one sold for 23.78 i paid two dollars so it's about an 18 dollar profit it took three to four months to sell and the buyer did pay 11.75 in shipping next is a lot of vintage like their kitchen tools little shovels or ice scoops these five i got for less than a dollar i did get them in a personal buyout and they sold for 32 dollars. it did take about three months to sell and they are about a 25 dollar profit so i rarely lot up things but none of these had names and they were all wood handles so i figured they would be good to lot up and that was a great profit next is a harmonica i did pay ten dollars for this i actually paid 20 for two of them the other one is more expensive this one is charmonica this one sold for 25 so it's about a ten dollar profit and it sold really fast in under a month that is another item from my last auction haul another item from the same qvc lot that the cold shoulder was from these are some jeans. These are Kim Gravel size two. These sold for $6.94. Again, over two years, took forever. And one of the reasons I don't do palettes anymore, you do get a lot of good stuff with palettes, but you also end up with a lot that takes forever to sell and doesn't make you much money. Up next is a very, very bright suit. <laughs> this is a lime green. It does have the jacket as well as the pants it is sag harbor i paid less than a dollar for this and this set sold for 35 dollars. so it's actually about a 28 dollar profit but it did take about six months to sell all right so i did an experiment last week i wanted to see if ending items and selling a similar would help me move some older items so i unlisted or ended my oldest 100 items and it did sell similar on all of them this next item is the only one that sold which to me indicates it is not worth it for me to end and sell similar i would rather focus on listing new items versus trying to move the older by spending a lot not a ton of time it's not horribly long but i don't think it was worth it is my point so only this item sold this is two little stamps with little basketball bear and then an actual 
baseball glove. These two sold for $3.77. I have been in the profit on that lot a long time. I've had those over two years and they're about a $2.50 profit. So on these Monday videos, I really like to show you everything I sell. So you get a really good overall picture of what it takes me to make $15,000 a month in sales. And that is a combination of high dollar as well as low dollar items. It really does all add up. For those of you that are not the biggest fans of seeing these low dollar sales, I will be doing a high dollar only what sold video coming up on Wednesday. So make sure you watch out for that. And this is going to be the first one I'm actually including Etsy and Poshmark high dollar sales as well. So that one's going to be a fun video coming up on Wednesday. Next is some wooden mallard ducks. So I'm actually only about $2 into these guys. It is a pair of them and they sold for $18.89. So they're about a $14 profit. They sold really fast in under a month. All right, football is coming. I have actually been replaying some of the past championship games on my TV over the week. I'm ready. I'm so ready for football. I love it. This is a Nike Jordan Florida Gators football polo this one actually was a team issued i did pay 7.99 for this did take over a year to sell sold for 30.86 so it is about a 20 dollar profit next is the bell sorry if that was loud it's a dinner bell it's got a really cool horseshoe and bell here this one I paid about $3 for. It sold in under a month for $20, plus the buyer paid $20 in shipping. This is a heavy, heavy brass bell. So this was a really good profit. Up at last for eBay, and then I'm gonna show you what sold over on Etsy and our, actually there are no Etsy sales. I'm gonna show you what sold over on Poshmark and Mercari. This is a vintage Sears nightgown. You can see how pretty the laces there on the front this one actually i was going to ship out on friday and i spilled my drink on it so i had to wash it my drink did come out luckily i got it on me and on this so i had to wash it it actually wasn't due to be shipped until today so it's not late that one i paid a dollar it sold for 15 dollars in about two months so it is about a 11 dollar profit all right, now I'm going to show you what sold over on Poshmark as well as Mercari. If you're not listing on multiple platforms, I definitely recommend it. Whether you use a service or not, it definitely increases your sales. We have over $200 going out from the other platforms. If you are kind of hesitant or worried about it, I am doing a live masterclass this Thursday on selling on multiple platforms. So we will go over all the different platforms as well as kind of the different fees, what sells better where, and just get a little more in depth with that. Now I use List Perfectly, which is a paid service, but it saves so much time. I very much feel like it is worth it. They are very reseller oriented, but you can cross post without using an app. It's just a little more time consuming. So for me, it's a time versus money thing and I'm okay paying if it saves me a lot of time. So first up over on Poshmark is this awesome Fire King plate. It's actually hand painted with pink roses. It is marked. This one I paid a dollar for has beautiful gold gilt there on the edges. And this one sold for $21 over on Poshmark. So it's about a $15 profit. And then some more stuff from my boxy charm box. This is some lavender vanilla deodorant. I am $5 in. These sold for 10. So they're only about a $2 profit after Poshmark fees. But for me with those boxes, I keep what I like, get some of my money back. Most of the time I end up getting the items I like to keep for free. So it works well for me. Next is this a Blue's Clues ornament. I paid less than a dollar for him. He sold for 11 on Poshmark, so he's about a $7 profit. This little Royals flag sold over on Mercari for five. I've had this thing for years and years, and it's only going to be about a $3 profit, but I am just glad it sold. And then also on Mercari, a license plate. This one is University of Florida. This one sold for 20 on Mercari, so it's about a $15 profit. And then we sold two more boxes of Octavia for $50 on Poshmark. Again, break even on those, but getting my money back. Over on Poshmark, this was a $50 sale. 
$50 for these little two Simpsons ornaments. <laughs> I paid $10, so they're about a $35 profit after fees, but they sold really fast and they sold as a bundle over on Poshmark. Last is a license plate that sold on Poshmark. It is a Nassau Bahamas. So this Nassau Bahamas tag sold for $45, so it's about a $35 profit. All right, that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget, tomorrow night I will be live with Tay Prison to Profit as my special guest co-host as Julian is out of town for the 127 sale. We will be joined by scott cha-ching king as well as rachel strickland it is always a fun time when we have those two on so i'm super excited and a big thanks to all three of my guests for coming on tomorrow night really look forward to it every tuesday night at 8 p.m we do like a live podcast answering your questions so definitely come and join us there wednesday will be my high dollar what sold video and if you haven't again check out the master classes this week is selling on multiple platforms but I have them on keywords and buying. There are a ton of different subjects that I go really in depth to in those. So check those out over on my big cartel site. I am going to thank a couple of people for coffees. If you don't know, Buy Me A Coffee is a way to tip your content creators for the knowledge they give you for free and show your appreciation. So I really want to say thank you to those of you who sent coffees. Also, all of you that have been sending me super thanks on the videos, thank you so much. I don't have a list, but there are quite a few of you that have been sending me super thanks. I really appreciate that. That kind of helps support me, support the channel, and give me the ability to produce more content for you. So Holly Winfrey bought me a coffee and said, hope you have a great day. Thanks for everything you do. Holly, thank you so much for the coffee. I greatly appreciate it. And then B Devlin bought me a coffee and said, hi, Kat. Thanks for all your content and advice. Also, Dalton is adorable. I love that you include him real life reselling. It definitely is real life reselling. And Dalton is the reason that I really got into reselling so I could be home more with him. And he gets to go meet his teacher tomorrow and he starts school on Wednesday. So I think our world's getting ready to be a little shook up for a little while. I'm gonna have to readjust, but he is super excited about going to school. And then Jill Redmond bought me a coffee and said, I appreciate the time and effort you put into your videos. I always learn something new. Jill, I'm so happy to hear that. That's why I'm here. I really love teaching and educating and helping you learn more and do better in your business. And then Miss Joyce bought me five coffees. Miss Joyce, thank you so much. She said, this is for Dalton's birthday. You can both enjoy ice cream or whatever. We did We did take Dalton out. We went to dinner. He got to get, he loves milkshakes. We go get milkshakes after we go on the boat. So he did get to enjoy a milkshake. And it says, Dalton, you bring such a smile for me when you're on camera. Happy birthday, my friend. I'm gonna bring Dalton in here in a minute to tell you guys goodbye. And then Steph Peters bought me two coffees and said, thank you, Kat, for getting back to me today and letting me know what options I have with the Charizard card. Lots to learn. Thank you so much for all you do. Steph, you are so welcome. I'm happy to help. Sorry, I'm about a, a month behind on thanking people for coffees. And then Jenny Lou bought me five coffees. Thank you so much. So I'm not gonna read all of that, but Jenny Lou, thank you so much for the coffees. I greatly, greatly appreciate them. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Like I said, I was about a month behind. Let me grab Dalton to tell you goodbye. I hope you have a really, really great week. I hope you had a bunch of sales on the weekend. If not, keep listening. Just remember, you just have to keep listening. Thank you for the happy birthdays. Have a good week. We are doing Wednesday. I will like you to be with you. He will tr still try and come join us for some videos for sure. We thank you for watching. Have a great week. Tell him bye. Bye. Bye, guys.